Hi, my name is Kayla George, and this is a follow-up video from Maker's Night. We're going to learn how to make plarm baskets. And first, we're going to cut the bottom out of a plastic shopping bag. Get that melted part off. And then we're going to cut the handles off. Make a nice tube of plastic. We're going to unfold the bag, flatten it out a little fold it over leaving about an inch or a little more at the top i'm going to cut about one a little bit more strips not cutting all the way to the top doesn't matter how many you get out of it you can always cut more we're going to unfold your bag and we're going to open up each loop to expose the spine so we can make one long string, but if you want to make multiple strings, that's fine too. You just will have more joints. So diagonally cut the first strip and then connect all the, the joints in between. You're going to want to do this more than once. You're going to need more than one bag, perhaps six or seven. So you're just going to repeat those steps. Then with two different strings, you're going to tie them together. You're going to use two bags as one working thread. Tie them together to keep them as one. We're going to do something called a cinch circle. And it's how we're going to close our circle on the bottom of our basket. Put your crochet hook in through the circle and scoop through your line and pull it up. Loop it around and pull through. This is how you're going to start putting your stitches on. Through your circle again. Pull through your line. And hook it around your hook again and pull it through the two loops on your hook. And then you have your first full stitch. You're going to repeat that eight times. So you're going to put eight stitches on your cinch circle through the circle, pull through and up and then wrap around your crochet hook again and pull it through the two on your hook and you have two stitches now Make sure to keep the short end on your cinch circle away from everything else. Don't let it get tangled with other things or you won't be able to close your circle. don't want to do them too tight or you'll have a little bit of difficulty but once you get all eight on you're ready for the next step so 
After you get all eight on, hold on to your stitches with one hand and pull on the short ends of your suit circle to close it together, close off the big circle. You have everything you need for the next row. So if you do them a little bit too tight like I did, you might have a little trouble, but it's plastic so it stretches really well. You can just stretch it out a little bit to get your hook in there. And then for each of your eight stitches, you're going to work two stitches into it to end up with 16 rows. This is how you're going to make the bottom of your basket and your circle get bigger. We're only doing three rows, but if you want to make a bigger basket, you can keep adding and it, it will work out like that too. Same kind of stitch in through your circle and go up. That's one, one stitch. And then the next one. When you get all 16 stitches done, you're ready for the next row. And for that one, you're working two stitches into the first stitch. And then one stitch into the next stitch. two into the next stitch, then one again and you repeat that all the way around till you get 24 stitches. If you've run out, you can always add on more. You can just tie another piece on with a little knot. You can trim it up later or you can leave it to have a nice little frill on the inside, but it won't be overly eye-catching. And when you're done with the third row, you can straighten everything out a little bit. Make sure you have your 24 stitches. And we're going to do what's called a post stitch. You're going to work from the back, go into the front, and pop out the post. This is what's going to turn up the sides on your basket. Still the same kind of stitch. Make sure you only go past the post. You don't haul off that last stitch. Through the back and then over the front to pop up that post on your hook and put on your stitch. see that they're on, on the bottom of what you were first working on. You won't have any trouble trying to see them. Do that the whole way around until you get back to the beginning. Yeah, 
And when you get all that done, you'll see the nice, almost like a braid looking on the back. And you're ready to start working on your sides. So this is the easiest and quickest part of the basket. And all you gotta do is do your regular stitch, just one in every stitch. No additioning, no decreasing, just keep going. You can do as many rows as you want, depending on how tall you want your basket. This one has about four in it before we get to the handles. As you can see, it's already starting to turn up. And after four rows, you'll have a basket that looks like this. You'll see where you started. Make sure you line that up when you go to do the handles. For the handles, you're gonna do a chain stitch. So you're gonna do four chain stitches. Very simple, the easiest crochet stitch four of those. Do them a bit loose for when you do your next row. And you're going to count four of your previous stitches so that you line up where to rejoin the end of your handle. Make sure you get the whole stitch and not half like I did. And then you work on all the rest of the stitches till you get about halfway and you put your next handle on. You're gonna wanna make sure that it's about even on both sides before you put your next one on. You don't want two handles right next to each other and a large gap. You're gonna crochet your chain stitch. So you're gonna do four chain stitches. Count four on your basket to line up where you join your handle. And then you go back to building up your sides. The same as you first started, doing one single stitch all the way around. And when you've got enough, you make sure you line up to where you first started. Do a slip stitch and pull the end of your bag through. You've got a nice knot tied. You can stretch out all your stitches, even out your bag, and then take your ends and weave them back through so they're not as noticeable. You can use a darning needle. I use my fingers. It's up to you. Don't forget about the ones in the bottom either. Make sure your cinch circle is still nice and tight. You're gonna find a spot, a stitch that you can just tie a knot in. 
make sure it's good and secure. And cut off whatever's left. And there you go. Your basket's done. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed making a little mini basket and I hope you make bigger ones and many of them. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs>